Hello guys, I should gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and today I bring you a video that I wanted to bring you way sooner, but I couldn't. Today we have the video of how to change your GPU's thermal paste. And that's it. That's also that's just it. Before anything, you need to know that making this process, so changing the thermal paste on your GPU, on your graphic card, will indeed void the warranty of most brands. Some brands do not apply to this. So some brands will not void the warranty if you do this step, so if you change the thermal paste, but most of them will. What happens most of the time is that after two years of usage, depending on the usage you, you give your, your GPU, of course, if you get it to higher temperatures, the thermal paste will degrade um, faster but anyway like after the two two three years the thermal the thermal paste will start degrading and will start degrading and that will make your GPU having higher temperatures and you don't want that you want lower temperatures and that will make also the noise to be reduced so if you have lower temperatures the fans won't have to spin so fast to cool your GPU so that's a win-win situation and that's why I'm making this video so the process is really simple and it is actually way faster than most people think. Just be careful with um, where you change the thermal paste, where you put your GPU. Put it on a surface which has lower probabilities of for example creating static because static can damage your electronics and your GPU of course because it is an electronic. Um, so you don't want that, use surface, use surface. Uh, Use a surface, for example, like wood, a table, uh, glass, for example, is, is not bad at all, glass. Um, and you have other surfaces, surfaces. A few moments later. Anyway, just don't put it on fabric, okay? Use wood or glass or any kind of shit, but don't use fabric because you may create static and you may damage your GPU. Also, don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share the video because that really helps a lot. And let's now go to the part you really want to see, changing the thermal paste. See you soon. Well, the surface you see here is glass. As for the GPU, I'll be using my old and broken HD 7770 for this video. You can see here in the back the reason to why it is not working at all. <laughs> well, to start, I always advise to have a set of screwdrivers, even if a ship one like this one I'm showing. But well, let's pick the needed screwdriver and start our thing. It is as simple as removing these four screws in the back of the card. Some cards may have a bit more but the logic applied is still the same. After removing all the screws, just turn the card around and separate the card from the cooler. And voila! Now we need to remove the old thermal paste. In order to do that, I'm going to use the old napkin method. The most correct way to do it though, is with some decent fabric and some isopropyl alcohol. But this will do just fine. Also, in order to properly apply the thermal paste, don't forget to remove the old thermal paste not only from the GPU, but also from the GPU cooler. After that, you just need to apply your new thermal paste. I usually use the dot method. The dot size will depend on the size of the GPU diode. So, if your GPU diode is bigger, leave a bigger dot of course. If it is smaller, leave a smaller one. Just be careful to not do this shit like I did. Because, <laughs> because you'll need to clean it. <laughs> After that, simply put the cooler in the same place it was before, and the thermal paste will spread as you press the cooler against the GPU diode. The last step is to simply turn the card around and screw those four screws again. After this, you are ready and set to go, and enjoy lower temperatures and less noise. So guys, as you've seen, the process is quite simple. Uh, I'm not an expert on this, everyone can see it, uh, even I am saying this to you, but the process is quite simple. So if you have any kind of, for example, doubts, 
just go to the comment section, comment there, and I will be there trying to help you the best way I can. Thanks one more time for watching, and see you in the next video.